Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to a fairly simple silent assassin suit only of the Chameleon, the elusive target number 18. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. We're going to start at the West Bridge. Uh, we're going to bring along our lockpick and the concealable baton. So, with the level load, make sure you skip the opening panning shot and then head over to this little gate over here. Crouch and then uh, unlock the gate with the uh, lockpick that you have. Head through the gate and then we're going to pull out our pistol. We're going to run past this guard. Crouch as we enter the stairs and shoot this camera. And then lockpick the door in the basement. And once we're done that, we're going to head our way through the basement and up the stairs at the other end. Making sure we put, a go put away our gun. Once you've done that, you want to crouch as you enter this area here and all the way up the stairs. Hook the, the, hook the cover position right here. And we're just going to wait for this guard on the landing to move into the room either to the right or to the left outside. And once you've done that, we're going to pull out our baton, get to the position where I am now, and throw out this hacker's head. Pick up the baton and drag his body uh, to where's the, towards where the bathroom is, just over here. And the reason why I'm telling you to throw the baton is because if you subdue him, you're risking the wall hacking glitch. So to avoid that, you just always just going to knock him out with the baton instead. Now the second hacker is just going to come in this room and he's going to be uh, going onto the laptop where we need to retrieve the files. So we're just going to do a, a knock him out exactly the same way. So as soon as he turns around, I'm just going to knock him out by throwing it out of his head. Picking it back up and then leaving his body there. Now the target is now going to get up and he's going to get a little bit, uh, you know, confused of where all of his uh, little hackers are gone. And what we're going to need to do is just wait uh, for the guard outside to go back down the stairs because now he's no longer needed. So we'll retrieve the files there, as you can see. If you want to, you can retrieve the files after, but it's entirely up to you. We're going to wait for all that guard all to go all the way back down the stairs and into the room to, the, to his left to get him out of the way. And once you're ready, just push the, uh, the target over the ledge just like that. And that will kill him for an accident 4 kill. What we've got to do now is start the 3D printer, print off Sean Rose's mask, and head out through the basement exit. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Just a quick note though, if you were using this 3D printer, making sh make sure that guard is in the room, all the way into the room to the left, otherwise he will come up to investigate the noise. So just uh, look, keep a look out on that. Crouch as you enter this basement area here, and then to, for safe measure we're just going to knock out the guard there, you don't have to, but uh, just for safe measure, I'll tend to do that. Or you can go up to him and subdue him, it doesn't really matter. But once we've done that and used the Sean Rose's mask on the exit, we can exit the mission and complete it for the Son Assassin rating, suit only completed as well. So uh, with this one for this account, I've unlocked the, uh, the signature suit with gloves. That's nicely done, and we've unlocked the Colorado suit with a hat as well. So that's going to do it for this video. So we've done it in a pretty fast time as well, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video anyways. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe here if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.